Hello friends. Today I am going to discuss K wiring in distal radius fractures. So in this animated video, I am trying to show that how to put a needle to give hematoma block. So I always use 18 number needle and I put xylocaine from dorsal aspect into the fracture side. Then I aspirate the needle. When the blood clot clots are coming, then it's confirmed that we are on the safe side. Then inject the xylocaine. Now I am planning the trajectory of the K wire. The two K wire that I am uh, marking are the two cross K wires, one more oblique and one more cross. After primary reduction and checking it in the C arm, we have to pass single K wire from the standard process. Insert the K wire by palpating the standard process of the radius, keeping in the wrist in the palmar fraction and ulnar deviated position. Cross check in the CM is to be done. After confirming, pass the second K wire more towards the shaft. Cross check in the CM is to be done. I just feel for the uh, second cortex. I am passing the K wire along the shaft of the radius so that 2K wire go in a divergent manner. Now in this animated video I am showing how to pass a K wire, third K wire from the lunar surface of the radius from dorsal to volar aspect cross checking in the C arm so that we have given three point fixation thank you friends for your attention